All right, do you need any help? War on Yerim. Nope. War on Kile. By you. Huh? Nope. You? What the fuck is wrong with huh? you? Nope. You? Any about just ask me to see if it, uh, anyone around here needs some help. Can I lend you a hand? Mm, sorry, no. But thanks. Ask the others. By you? Look at uh, to start working for the sickle. Anything I could do to help you with? Uh, you gonna? Reina, shalom. Oh, you want to impress good old penny pouches, don't you? Hmm. Hey, there is something you can do for me. Just in front of the trading post, there's an old beggar. He stinks like a bloody vatter. And keeps on asking every passerby for money. So he'll be hard to miss. Get rid of him. And I'll tell our quartermaster what a good fit for sickle you are. Uh, how am I supposed to get rid of him? I don't know. Best give him a good beating or something like that. You look as if you could do that. Okay. Well, good luck with that. Especially since the beggar doesn't even exist. I, for my part, will speak out against you. When Penny Pouches asked me. Why? If you ask me, the last thing the sickle needs these days are more ruffians of your kind. If you're so eager to beat up people, then go talk to Rolada. We don't want you. Oh, wow. Now let me get back to work. There's much to do. Rude. Okay, so let's see where this is. Show me on the map. It won't let me. The show me on the map button doesn't work for me. Up there. Okay, so whenever we do that delivery... Uh, I'll ask him anyways. Although, you know, I will do that delivery whenever we can. Let's uh, unmark a few quests for a little bit. If only that man knew a thing of We'll head outside. So, uh, apparently, uh, telling the guy we're gonna beat up a man, uh, made him not like us. That's fine. Listen, I'll do whatever I need to do. I don't care about honesty and shit like that. I kill who I need to kill and... I'm searching for you. Let's live. After a long time in solitude, I, Teldor, search for a gentle nature who isn't averse to a quick adventure. Meet me on the island in front of Ark. You'll find a camp. Read the message and show uh, your gratitude to me. Okay. Walk blessed. There's the south quarter, but this is just a chunk of the market. We haven't been to the main part of the market yet. The market's big. This is the back side of the market. Let's go to the front, shall we? This is where I spent most of my game. Welcome to the market. It's very laggy. There's a lot of people. Yes. Hello. Yeah. What do you want? You also sell information. Information? What do you mean? I'm an adventure. I'd wager that you, as a merchant, over here a lot of useful things. Let me see. Hmm. That's not very much, but. Fine. A couple of moons ago, I had a really strange guy as a customer. He wore two sabers, like those coal people do, but when he moved, he was really swift about it, like he was some kind of thief. I think he was an assassin, as they call him. Quiranian contract killers. You can hide within a fortress, but they'll find you. Somehow break into your room and kill you in your sleep. And unlike those everyday scroungers, they know how to wield a sword. 
like Lorem Waterblade did. So Who knows? Maybe that'll help. Mm. Alright, as we learned about an assassin. What? That wasn't enough? Let, Let me breathe. think. Yeah. There was that wench once. A farmer. She came running into the city as if chased by the Black Guardian and told the guard something about an ambush on her farm. Nothing unusual, you could say, especially nowadays, but apparently the bandits were led by a mage. And, well, if you can believe that farmer woman, she conjured the sunfire down from the sky. Green fire, lightning, the living dead rising from the ground, a wild mage, in other words, one of those sinistropes. But she also knew elemental magic like the Keepers do. I wouldn't want to come across someone like her. Yeah, that doesn't sound too fun. Let's see what you have for sale. No, I just put them out for you to look at. Tell me what you need and be All right, quick Alright, she's got some it. rings. So we were supposed to look for something that might have belonged to someone else. <clears throat> this is the guy who buy rhetoric books from as well. Tales of the Wanderer, the Seraph. I'll buy that. Ironford's loot. There we go. Walk blessed. Huh? Can I help you? No. No, you cannot. <sighs> well, look who's arrived. Did you have any problems finding your way around? This city can be quite a maze if you don't know it. Uh, not really. I'm used to big cities. Right. You're from Ostian. I almost forgot. They're quite fascinating, these places, aren't they? You can climb high, and you can fall just as deep. And every place vibrates with life. You have to like it. Well, I do. Here, put this on. And before you ask, yes, it's necessary. Just trust me. Hungry for arcane secrets? I have books. Can I take it off? I can if I want. Anything for friends of path abiding magic. Let's go with them. Coins. Oh, there's none there. I'm searching for you now. Hungry? I got just what a weird if I didn't tell them that already. That's it. And why is it Malfas who carries the Sun Temple on his back? Isn't that a gesture of servitude? No. Malfas carries the Sun Temple because he also carries humanity. Without the benevolence and sublimity of the gods, the world would still be at war, just as it was after the devastation of Starfall. Everything we have, we owe it to them. Correct. The gods' reign is not driven by greed for power. Their highest endeavor is the preservance of peace <laughs> and stability, no matter the cost. Keep that in mind, son. And honor the path Malfas has chosen for you. This is the only way of showing gratitude to all he and the Lightborn have done for us. Hey, Warren Nerum. You're not from here. Hmm? Hmm? Okay, no, I can't talk I to them. I you talk. Madame? Uh, God, I'm dressed like an idiot. Despar, why'd you make me wear this stuff? We'll tell you what, if I have to blend in, I should hide my weapons, but, just in case... I got my dagger ready. It is poisoned. Greetings! Watchtower. I don't remember this area very much. All I remember is, uh, you can buy a house here. Very nice one. Very nice house. I don't remember where it is anymore. So about this fever. Actually, I think it's like over there. Gifted with magic, have to report their talent to the order, and then yes, teaches them how to deal with their magic. The journey to the water is what they call it. Once they've passed that, the fever reduces to an endurable level, and new arcanists have their names registered in some kind of holy book. 
But there are other ways to get rid of the fever. And I hope my employer can tell you about them. All right. Okay, almost there. This place is pretty damn cool because now we're under the statue holding up the mountain. And then we're gonna see some of the heavy armored guys. This is holy ground, Outlander. You don't belong here. Pathlessness, wherever you look. Where is this supposed to be? <laughs> I'm with Jaspar. I look like an idiot. Seriously, Jaspar, why do I have to wear this? Hold it, my sir. No civilians beyond this point without explicit permission. Who are you and what leads you to this holy place? Business. I'm Jaspar Delveric, and I work for the Naramese mages. Ah, oh, right. The mercenary. And who's your companion? Marija de Luna from Ostian. Esteemed holder of de Luna's Empire of Tender Fragrance, the most prestigious perfumery in all of Vin. Archmagist Marigil sent for her. Didn't he tell you? The Archmagister. Um, well, that does sound like him. Fair enough, you may pass. But show this place the respect it deserves, mercenary. You too, my Dame de Luna. You have my word, fair lady. Thank you. Uh, and mine as well. I'm gonna go in and, uh, do all of the fragrancing. This is awesome. Yes. Let him enter first. This place is the the coolest. Just you'll see. There we are. God, it's awesome. Well, that went better than expected. You're a Deluna's Empire of Tender Fragrances. Hey, it worked, didn't it? That's all that matters. Nobody will suspect someone who's already in the temple. Anyway, I think it's about time I tell you a little bit more about this employer of mine. His name is Constantine Firespark, and he's one of Narath's Orenthiel's former followers, which the new Grand Master, Teolor Orenthiel, brought here by ship about two years ago. That means he's one of the former arch enemies of the Order. They usually wear green, while the Order wears white or red. That should make it easy for you to tell them apart. Firespark's pretty much the eldest of Narathsul's mages, and quite well versed in magic, at least from what I've heard. Plus, he's a very gentle and likable fellow, which is why even the Keepers like having him around. Let's hope he can tell us a thing or two about these visions, and help you get rid of the fever. Come, follow me. Yep. I'll go with you. Do. Can I take off this stupid outfit yet? Unreliable. That's what All right, here we are. Hmm. No, Hang on. No, 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 no! That's not how you do it. Lost it. I'm just being careful. We like have to. Like we do. Give me that thing now. Ouch. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Blazes, I just can't bloody believe Blasted, it. Blasted, blistering blazes. I, uh, that's what you get for working with fumblers. I <clears> told <throat> you, we Master should Firespark. be careful. What? Now, who the heck are you? Can't an old man have a moment to himself? Blazes, I just can't um, bloody you believe hired it. me. The Magister, don't you remember? Oh, right. Joseph the Scrounger. So, why are you here? Had any luck? Just spar. And yeah, we did find something. I... 
suggest you first of all tell me when I allowed you to drag your flings up here. Do you need me to explain the meaning of the words highly and confidential to you? I'm sure there's a lot you can explain to me, but let's save that for later. This particular lady over here needs your help, to be frank. Arcane fever. Is that so? And what exactly has that got to do with me? Let the Keepers and their holy rituals take care of it. What is it with the costume, anyway? This woman's magic is different, my sir. Just feel her aura and you'll see it. Plus, she's from Narim, just as you are. Uh, well, all right then, for nostalgia's sake. I really hope you're not wasting my time, though. Working with these religious buffoons is bound to make any rational thinking person go bonkers. Anyway, that chair over there. Take a seat, and I'll have a look at that fever of yours. All right. All right, then. This will tickle a little. Oh, God. Ah. Hmm. Now you're right. This aura does feel different. Complex somehow and mm, powerful. And do you really want to tell me you've only recently discovered that talent of yours? With that aura, I'm surprised that you haven't turned into an Obaya by now. Hmm. Fine, fine. I, I, well, that is, we will help you. But first, tell me everything how you got that magic and how you met that scrounger. And then we told him everything. Yes. Hmm, yes, I see. Regarding this vision thing, I think that your mind simply played a trick on you there. Not that it's much of a surprise, considering what you've been through. Actually, you were quite lucky that the sudden outburst of your glance didn't blow your head right off. This chapel of the water? Every time I touch one of those stones, I feel as if, I don't know, as if something comes back to me. Well, that's probably a sign that you should go easier on the booze. Skill, whether of physical or magical nature, isn't gained through touching some stones, but through hard work and discipline. Even though this screwball Endrelay and talk of paths and predeterminations tries to tell us otherwise. Sudden so outburst of my glance. What's a, what's a glance? Uh, by all that's holy, I won't start playing your tutor now. If you don't know about the basic functioning of magic, then read something from Balador Goldenstein. He th the glance on the sea of eventualities, alongside but apart from the reality we're in right now, exist countless other realities in which some events have different outcomes, so to speak. A version of this very same room, for example, with the very same people in it, only that Meister Firespark's beard is on fire. And what defines an arcanist, someone capable of magic, is that he or she can see those other realities and let parts of them come true. Well, look at that, Jasper. You surprise me. That's what I'm being paid for. How powerful an arcanist is depends on three factors. How far away are the eventualities that he can see, how well he can bring parts of them into our reality, and finally, how well his mind can handle seeing other realities simultaneously with ours. Mm. Lighting a candle is easier than calling a meteor from the sky, to speak plain in Al, but as I said, read Goldenstein if you're interested in the topic. I'm not going to waste any time with lectures. Now I want to bring his beard on fire. Uh, they're not... I didn't just imagine these visions. They felt real. Ah, uh, well, if that's what you want to believe, go for it. I, in any case, have never come across such a phenomenon in over 50 years of studying magic. And now we should... It all begins with the dreams. What the? Blasted, blistering blazes! Does this room look like the bosom of a whore to you? Or what makes you think you can go around touching anything you get your fingers on? These documents are confidential for heck's sake. I knew it was a mistake to hire a thug like you. Lashery always had a weakness for- Correct me if I'm wrong, but I remember you telling me something about dreams that led you and Tealor Renthiel here, didn't you, my sir? And you told me that in this vision of yours, the Veiled Woman said this. It all begins with the dreams. Yeah. What? 
Is that true? It is. Oh. Then this near-death experience you had before you woke up on the shore. Tell me again, what exactly did you see in it? A room? A glistening white light and charred bodies, but their flesh was unnatural, gray, and all... I heard all these voices. Hmm. Well, this... this is strange, indeed. Anyway, for now all that matters is that we get that magic of yours under control. Whatever you clairvoyance back there is of no use to us if you're dead as a doornail in a couple of months. And how can we do that? Get my magic under control? Well, that's usually a plodding process. The fever you feel is a result of your mind not being able to handle all of these possibilities, so to speak. The ritual the Endraleans practice to get the glance under control is called the journey to the water. Put frankly, it means one year of hour-long meditation, bland food, and abstinence from anything that makes life worth living. In due time, the Arcanist then learns to filter these other realities from ours, and the fever gets less and less. Anyhow, luckily enough, we Neremese know of a way to quicken that process. Oh, great. A shortcut, if you will. I'm not capable of performing it, but another one of us is. Her name is Lashery, and you should seek her out as soon as possible. Uh, a shortcut? A reason the journey of the water is as lengthy as it is? There is indeed, and this reason is called ignorance. <laughs> I love it. The Order's rituals haven't changed since the Lightborn slipped out of their cradles, and the Keepers do their best to keep anything progressive out I of love their em. country. But please, if you're up for a year of austerity and stern-faced Magisters scolding you, go for it. I really don't care. All right, I'll do this ritual. Where can I find Lashery? She's currently in a ruin called Old Rationgrad, not far from Ark. Just tell her that I sent you. Ah, give me that map of yours. Okay, now you'd have to be a total idiot to miss it. <laughs> I recommend leaving for the ruin straight away. And you, Joseph, you're going to come with me and show me what your trip to the Sun Coast brought forth. Hopefully, more than a bottle of honey wine and a hangover. Oh, I love him. He's quite a character, isn't he? But I like him somehow. I love him. Here, I owe you this for your help back in Riverville. Uh, and in case you're in the mood for a mug of ale and a good chat, just drop by the Dancing Nomad in the Stranger's Quarter. I'll get myself a room there for the time being. With all that said, good luck mastering your magic, my fair lady. I'll see you around. All right. During the main story of Endril, you have the opportunity to deepen your bond to several persons. Caution, these missions aren't available forever. If the main story progresses too far, the storyline of some persons stay hidden. Yep, so, uh, I definitely want to talk to Jess Barr. Something's, uh, depressing one of the Magisters, apparently. Oh, nine level to level ten! Look at that. I'm gonna get another mana point. So here's our alchemy workbench. Shit all over the floor now. <clears throat> yeah. Huh? Last part. Hmm. Wooden temple is part of your order. I'm having trouble telling you apart. <laughs> this is so dumb. He's gonna yell it. It's a green. Oh, don't tell Lucy that. Altogether, it's her, Yuslan, me, and two acolytes. Yuslan is probably the most gifted entropist of the civilized world. And I doubt there's anyone who knows more about the Pyrians than Lucy. Uh, tell me more about Jordan's history. Uh, who are you exactly and how did you come to be? Oh, do you really need me to answer that? Just take a look around. There are all sorts of great historical writings on us here. We're a bunch of bloodthirsty heretics who followed Tino Aranthiel's deluded son into the war against the gods, who gloriously defeated us in the Battle of Zaramar. Naratzul was locked into an old tower, and those of us who remained cowardly fled into the Neremese Mountains, and have since then 
terrorized and plotted against the poor people of the civilized world by all means necessary. Oh, and did I forget to mention that we eat babies for breakfast? <laughs> well, now I have. <laughs> I love them. Did I touch a nerve there? <sighs> Sorry. I suppose I just shouldn't have read that much Endrelayan literature on the subject. If there's someone who deserves an award for biased misrepresentation of the facts, it's the buffoons who run this place. I fucking love him. Uh, which part of Neramar are you from exactly? Oh, that's hard to tell. Most of the time I was with Narathzul's order in the Kabeat Mountains. But when I was younger, I used to travel a lot, not only in Nerim. What about you? Which idiots did you have the misfortune to be raised by? The foolhardy rebels up north? The bootlicking pawns of the Chancellor in the Middle Realm? Or the fanatic, mask-wearing, cultist oafs down south? The latter. Ostian, to be precise. Ostian, I see. A beautiful piece of earth, actually. But these sodding cultists and their creator have done their best to make it a living nightmare. Truth be told, it was them who made me join Narathzul's fight against religion back in the days. I was a young traveling arcanist then, and wanted to make some money in Ostian's arena. Fight some rabid animals, oh, you know the story. Yeah. I had heard a lot about Nerim South, and imagined a place at the pulse of life. Exotic music, adventure, beautiful women. But you know who greeted me when I reached the city gates? Who? Corpses. They burnt their skin off and then nailed them to crosses. There were at least 50 of them. Men, women, children. And they were set up at the roadside like trees in an alley. It was atrocious. The smell of burnt meat everywhere. The screams of those who still lived and... And all of it only because some fool has decided that they had somehow acted against their god. I still dream of it sometimes. Oh, well, that was when I declared war on religion. I was so sick of seeing people cutting each other's throats only because they project their own personal problems into some holy scripture or higher power. And that's not even the worst part. They're beyond reason. Why are you doing this, I ask them. Because my god told me to. What's left to say there? You can essentially justify anything with that logic. That's true. So, this is why this place makes me sick. We need the Order's manpower. They need our knowledge about the Piraeans, and we both Piraeans? do I thought it was want Piraeans. the same thing. Yes, but philosophy and freedom of thought are nowhere to be found. It's pathetic. Uh... But is the problem really religion itself, not the people who misuse it for their own ambitions? Hmm. Yes. And no. On the one hand, yes, a happy person will most likely never become a murderer, no matter if he or she follows the teachings of this creator or some Quiranian philosopher. But if something happens to this person, hunger, fear, shattered dreams, a peaceful ideology, can make all the difference. What is religion after all? It's a guide to live life, a set of values. And even if it's just one line in the Holy Scripture that says, kill the infidels, how likely is it that a broken man will interpret it in a peaceful way? You got me there. If you want a justification to spill blood, you will find it. If your religion was ambivalent to begin with, even better. Hmm, there's a lot of discussion about that on Kira, and it drives me mad to hear people prattling on about how it's all a matter of interpreting the scripture in different ways. Blazes, if your ideology is so peaceful, why does it say, slayeth this, slayeth that, rather than just, get along? It's pathetic. In other words, a truly peaceful religion shouldn't have ambivalent parts at all? Yes, go on. Try to justify a massacre like the one in Ostian, with a philosophy that consists of only two principles and nothing more. 
Respect those around you, and killing is bad regardless of the motives. Good luck. <laughs> uh, yeah, we don't really care about religion much. Especially if people don't keep to themselves with it. All right. I love Fire Spark. Cool. Especially all about, uh, the mm. whole uh, line about uh, eating babies. That's a good line. <laughs> they should probably clean the floor, though. That explosion launched shit all over the damn place. Pathlessness, wherever you look. Where is this supposed to lead? Alright, it's got some beds. Ah! My bed. Not very nice and kind of dark, but... Hey. Oh, you're here. I thought you were in the city. No, the Archmagister ordered me back. Feels good to be here, to be honest. The funerals. Well. I could have done without them, though. I don't doubt it. We got... I still can't believe that really happened. Brother Yarrow. The Tales of the Wanderer. I would read it, but uh, those are very long. This is holy ground, Outlander. You don't Probably belong not. here. No. I do. Shut up. I wonder how it happens. The infection. What do you mean? Well, the red eyes and the obvious Dark eye. madness only happen in the last stages of the disease. But what happens before that? And how? Walk blessed. How can one tell yes. someone else? Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Why? Scared you've caught it, are you? That is not funny. You know, I've had this feeling that there's something wrong with Yero for quite some time, long before it happened. Uh, you don't Ooh. say. His wife was murdered. Don't you think that would have thrown you out of bounds too, path abiding Indorellian or not? That's not what I That's mean. That's cool. Her death broke him, yes. What have I been told? But there was Yard. no hatred in him, only grief. The hatred only Some came shortly fences. before he did it. Sorry, There's probably uh, someone that usually works behind here, but they're probably out doing something right now. That. There's a skull! Oh, I gotta go steal that later. I need that Maybe skull. It was Euro's grief, his instability, that made him susceptible to the Okay, uh, I wanna check out that Chronicum area. Let the flameling and the Apothecara. Let's go check it out. Although I think we're supposed to go meet Aranthiel, which... I'd love to meet Aranthiel, he's very cool. Ah, yeah, this is the library. Hello. Hmm? Mm -hmm. Water over there? Would you water your plants over there? You dropped the parchment on the floor. Uh, what do we have over here? The outside and the door here. The outside. Okay, so just, just outside. Let's head out. Blueprint collection? Oh shit. We have here. Lost Brigand. Oh, oh. good day, sir. Vagabond sack in life as in death. <sighs> oh. The quarters. Maybe this is where we're actually supposed to sleep. Hello. Oh, you play music. Hello. Who are you? Oh, don't worry about me. I'm uh I don't remember what I don't remember what the title they gave me was. Shit, uh, I'm the lady something. I sell uh, perfume. Almost got caught there. No. Is this some kind of problem? Oh yes. Guess what? There is. Some people just don't get the meaning of the word reliability. What are you talking about? Maybe I can help. Huh. You're not from the Order, are you? Then I wonder what the blazes you're doing here. But, fine. Who am I to reject a helping hand? 
Elia, the novice who was assigned to me. She's supposed to help me transcribe these Pyrian tomes the Grand Master is so obsessed about. But two days ago, she simply vanished. If I were to guess, I'd say she's strolling around enjoying herself somewhere in the nobles' quarter. I'd go look myself, but I'm lucky if I get to breathe within all this work. Go find her, and tell her to get her bloody ass up here and help me. If you do that, it won't be to your disadvantage. Alright. If I see her, I'll, uh, tell her to, uh, get her bloody ass up here, as you, uh, stated. Blank paper. Take a look at people's Man, books here, you never know. Make any sense. Why can't it ever be easy? Pretty good. If you search in ruins and tombs for pathless writings, yes. Hello. The earth. Nice little room here. This is yours. I just can't bloody believe it. One of these is probably going to be uh, assigned to me. Golden house. My clothes. Well, I'm wearing the finest of clothing. Roasted salmon just laying in your bedroom? That's going to get old. Oh, this is mine. So I can sleep here. Into the hall to the left. My light, my glimmer, and the horizon. Thy name is my sacrament, and thy path I will honor in life as in death. It's good to sneak around like this because there are some things you can find that are very rare in this game. And if I find some early, we'd be in really good hands. There's a bank in this game. Oh, hello. You're the companion of that mercenary, aren't you? Dalveric, or whatever his name is. I don't want to be disrespectful, but our time's so bad that the Order needs to resort to hiring mercenaries. I just don't know. Uh, yeah, there's a bank, and the bank works like a bank does. You give them your money, and it slowly builds up over time. You can also find promissory notes that... When handed to the bank, you will gain interest over time. Well met. In... Need something? In different uh, businesses. Yeah, it's uh, quite useful. Huh? Emporium. Emporio. God, this place is nice. Let's hope he knows what he's doing. <laughs> oh, hello. You're the companion of that mercenary, aren't you? Dalveric, or whatever his name is. <sighs> I can see the Pyrians. Don't want to be disrespectful, but our time's so bad that the Order needs to resort to hiring mercenaries. Yes. I just don't know. Yes, it is. Hello. Hello. Walk blessed. I will. Oh, well. Malfas's blessings. Uh, uh, to you too. Uh huh. One temple. Thank them. I'm looking around, and I remember there being a store somewhere you could buy spells, but I don't remember where. Oh, this statue, though. Forgot about that. That's awesome. Yeah, I completely forgot about that badass statue. Walk blessed. Oh, uh, you're an outlander. Yeah. Aren't you? I mean, no offense, really. Um, of course Why not. Why do so my many day? people no. ask that? Forgive me. I didn't mean to offend you. Oh my. Yes. Yes. Younger. 
Farmer's Coast. I always read them in case they add markers, but they don't never do. There's more enchanters. More stuff. I don't remember where the frickin... I remember there being a trader somewhere. In a little room. Ah, oh, there you are. Man. The Emporium Basement? Magister Carus has been looking for you. This is Holy Grab. Where's that lander? You do not belong here. Shut up. I belong wherever I want to belong. See if we can get to that basement. This is holy ground, Outlander. You do not belong here. I roam where I wish. Hey. Basement's apparently below me. I don't know how to get to it. It's annoying me. Because I think that's where it is, but I'm not sure. I don't remember anymore. I think I hid in. Pathway to me. Bloody weather. Another door. Where does this one lead? There's so many doors here. They all lead everywhere. And this place is confusing. Oh. That? God, this place is so confusing. It took me forever to learn this place years ago. And now that I'm back, I have to relearn them. This is holy ground, Outlander. You do not belong. You don't belong here. How about you? Fuck off. Right. Thank them. Ah. This is where they deal with disease. Bad shit happens in here. Yeah, there's even a cell for it. Yeah, this is some medieval fucking shit. Tie people up and fuck around with their bodies. That door doesn't open. Yeah, that's, that's disgusting stuff. That stuff used to be done back in the day. You know, all for uh, science. Which it was important, I guess, but... Still fucked up. Oh, there's a basement entrance here. I want to know what's in the basement. I want to know... Basement. What's in the basement? Tell me. This goes outside, right? This is the basement door I've been trying to find. For years, isn't it? Where's a key? Where's a key? There's a key.
The house needs a key. Ah, Alchemist of Magic. That's the place I'm looking for. But it's closed right now. And the armory, yes. These are the ones. So how do we get here? Skula. I don't know what a skula is. <coughs> Sorry about that. Oh, okay. There's a side passage. Just go down there. And, okay. Let's have a look. There's... Skulas, armories... Oriums. Alright. We can head out of here, then. What's that? Oh, uh... Sign. Where are we going? Oh yeah, I wanted to check out... Uh, yeah, fourth quarter. Uh, here's the end. You're a foreigner, aren't you? I wish Let's I go meet with uh, Jaspar. He was gonna be here. Just think about it, okay? I will. Take care. <laughs> hey, you came. Come on, take a seat. Who's that? Friend of yours? So, tell me, how are you holding up? It must have been quite the whirlwind. Yesterday, a refugee from another country, and now a prodigy with a magic great enough to impress old Bushybeard. Uh, I'm fine, thanks for asking. Well, that's good to hear. I'm quite curious to see how things keep on with you. You're different. I noticed that the time we met. Anyhow, tell me, what do you make of this country now that you've had some time to look around? I figure it must be quite the change from Nerim. Uh, yeah. Well, uh, you're right about that. Shoot. <laughs> yeah, I can picture that. You know, this is exactly the reason why I love inns so much. The sky can rain fire out there. In here, you'll always meet laughter and good humor. Not to mention all the good-looking men and women. Uh, ah. Yeah. A racial set table, indeed. Absolutely. Though I think I've seen enough of this place by now. Of Enderall, I mean. There's a ship sailing for Kile next morning. And as it seems, it will be the last one for quite some time to come. Who knows? Maybe they still have a cabin to spare for a handsome treasure hunter. What, you want to leave, in spite of all that's happening? <laughs> oh well. This entire thing was more a coincidence than planned, anyhow. The Order needed someone with skill and discretion, and I was around. End of story. I never intended to stick around for much longer. Heck, <laughs> me as an ambassador of the Holy Order, could you imagine that? Not one step further, O Fair Maiden. Drop your garment so we may both bathe in Malthus's holy light. Hmm. <laughs> Actually, not that bad, don't you think? Very convincing. Oh, you're too kind. But you know, at the end of the day, I guess I'd probably lack both the pathos and the idealism for such a profession. You know, I'm aware of how these esteemed keepers up there talk about sellswords like me. I could save 30 virgins from a myrid on rampage. At the end of the day, they'd always say I did it for the money, because I wanted to bet the women, or whatever. I'm driven by inferior motives. While no matter what their actions end in, they are good guys, because they do things for the right reasons. If only they'd understand that it's results that matter, not intentions. What does the wise hermit say? Nothing is of less importance to the saved than the reason for their rescue. The only difference between a mercenary like me and a holy warden is that I'm at least aware of the fact that I do what I do for myself and no one else. Mm -hmm. Exactly what you're trying to say. I'm trying to say that all those heroes and self-declared messiahs are no better than everyone else. In the end, we are all selfish. Because we always act in accordance to what we think we have to be like. So yes, maybe the keeper saves the farmer from the bandits. 
but at the end of the day, he does it because he sees himself in a certain light. <laughs> you know, the funny thing is that a lot of times, it's especially those who think of themselves driven by a higher purpose who are the really dangerous ones. They don't understand what drives them, and that makes them easy to manipulate. The only thing left to do for the capable hate monger or tyrant is to somehow combine his own ambitions with the mental image of this person. And presto, you've got your perfect puppet, only waiting to dive into the next hail of arrows for their honor, their religion, or whatever they thought of this time. <laughs> it's just so idiotic, you know? The world would be a much better place if everyone could just acknowledge that the only reason we're here is that we want to be happy. Oh, he's... Oh. Uh, sense of that, I couldn't agree more. I don't know. Uh... Other options we have. What you're saying is that every... Uh, in the end, every person just wants to be happy? Purpose of life? Yeah. Seek bliss and avoid pain, as the wise hermit likes to say. And believe me, once you realize that that's how people just work, Life is a lot better. You have to have some kind of goal in your life, don't you? Oh, yeah, I do. And this goal is called surviving. And if possible, to be able to enjoy a good glass of wine or an exciting night from time to time. How can you be so sure that there's no other purpose in our life? I don't know. Call it a feeling. But if there is such a thing as a universal point to our lives, then I'm pretty sure we won't find it within the pre-digested philosophies or religions most people believe in. And hey, I'd be the last one to reject this great truth if she were to knock on my door, naked and tits jiggling. But until then, I'd rather try and find my own answers. Just to be clear, what you're saying is that we're all egotists? And the other people, even the people others call heroes? <laughs> Places, you make it sound so dramatic. Doing something for your own sake doesn't make you selfish. But yeah, basically that's it. That yeah, makes sense. Uh, there's a sense in that, I'll admit. Really? I was half expecting you to throw insults at me. That's what people usually do when I tell them that. But I guess life is full of surprises. <laughs> anyway, I'll take my leave now. I very much enjoyed our talk, but the ship to Kilae leaves before the first cock's crow tomorrow, and I want some more time to think about it. Uh, I don't know if I want to hit on Jespar. Let's do it. Well, it most recently gained a good-looking Naramese woman. Maybe that'll make up for when I leave. Keep your chin up. We'll hit on just bar, why not? Ah. Alright, so he's uh leaving. I wish I could dance. Of course you'd say that. What is the time? Malfashi and our room's looking for you. It's snow good. We'll open up the room for you. And please, no shady business. We walk the righteous path in here and don't want any trouble. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh-oh. I was walking in place. I just don't see the fucking point. Here's my room. Uh, let's have a rest. There we are. Potatoes garnish. Yeah, that should be it. All right, let's go back to the market. I wasn't finished there. I accidentally talked to uh, him too early. Oh, and let me get out of this fucking outfit. <laughs> I'm still wearing it, aren't I? Yeah. Why am I wearing this? The hat. Take these armbands off. There we mm -hmm. go. Better. Uh, no remind myself. Yes. Market's this way, right? Yeah. We have a bunch of stuff to check out at the market, so. 
Back here we go. The uh, stalls will be opening up soon. They got a little uh, public speaking position here. A gallo. In case you gotta hang somebody. Bear quarters. We'll check that out eventually. This is the meat market. Well, let's see what kind of meat they got. Well, what meat you got? Malthus's blessings, dear madam. Might I interest you in a... I am certain you will find something. This... May his light guide you. This got me. Come back if you find the time. I'm gonna sneak into your house. Probably following me right now. Wondering why I'm sneaking around his house. Hard times, these are hard times. Sorry, he, he seemed really suspicious. I don't know why. I, I, will. I don't know why, but he just felt suspicious to me. He seemed too happy. He's like, oh, yes, welcome to my my butchery. Yes. Yes, eat the meat. Mm -hmm. Oh, uh, you're you an outlander. I've talked to you, you 40 times. From Orazio. What blessed, madam? Your skin, it looks. Um, hey! You're different. an adventurer, aren't you? Farewell. Yes. Have you been to. Oh, how do they say it? Melee? My dad. Ah, the bank! There we are. Yes? Hello. Walk blessed, my dame. How can Suvin and friends serve you today? Would uh, you like to open a personal vault? Or perhaps even acquire an estate? A personal vault? A ledger. Your very own safe in our house, which we will manage on your behalf. We will meticulously track all your deposits and withdrawals, and best of all, Thanks to our very generous interest rates, the longer you entrust your money with us, the more it proliferates on its own. How can my money proliferate on its own? <laughs> well, evidently this was a metaphor. Just imagine that for every day your money rests in our vaults, we present you with some extra coin on top of it, as in appreciation for your trust, so to speak. What, and you do this at your own expense? How can that be profitable to you? Well, you see, this is a highly complicated process. And I fear it would be a matter of near impossibility to elucidate my response in such a fashion that you would be capable of comprehending it with your, I beg your pardon, most likely quite limited intellectual capabilities. Let us talk about more enjoyable matters I like instead. Him. Such as your money. I like, I like the banker who insults your fucking intellect right to you. <sighs> Fine then. We use it to trade. You trade with the coin of your customers? We invest, for example, in promising expeditions or new trade routes. And from the returns those investments yield, we not only pay our employees, but your interest as well. That's all you have to now say. Don't you look at me that way. We have to make a living somehow, too. And what happens to my money if your investments turn out to be a mistake? Banks do not make mistakes. Didn't your parents oh, teach you this? Oh, oh they do. Now enough of this nonsense. Oh, they do. Back to business. Do you want to open a Banks do not make not? mistakes is the dumbest thing I've heard in my life. Very well. We will need a 100 penny deposit to start with. After that, you may make a withdrawal or deposit whenever you would like. All right. Uh well. <laughs> Fine. Here are 100 pennies. I would like to withdraw 99 of them. Damn it. I didn't expect this. But fine, how does the saying go? Never look a gift horse in the mouth. Here, this is your personal safe key. This way, you may access your shelf even when we are closed. To make a deposit, simply talk to one of the bankers or put it on the shelf yourself. Ah, and should you acquire any shareholdings, simply give them to me and we will allocate them with your future interest. Yeah, you can get a bunch of shareholdings. Well, holdings for something, a business, a caravan, things like that. 
But forgive me for saying so, you do not seem to be a woman of means, so I don't suppose it will be relevant to you. Oh, one day I'm gonna club you in the back of the head. Of course. All right, so right now we have one penny. And our interest per day is zero. <laughs> so let's deposit a bit. This is how much I got. Uh, let's deposit like two or 1,600. That'll work. A wise decision. All right, let's have a look now. Of course. All right, so uh, we're earning 45 pennies a day. Pretty good. Mm -hmm. Let's have a look here. I have 500 on me. Walk blessed, my dear. Wish I acquired a state. What would you have to offer? Win. Of course. Oh, God. Blueprint collection. I would like that. God, there's a lot of blueprints in here. Holy shit. You have a lot. There's two deeds. There's the marketplace house and the noble's house. I will eventually buy... Uh, one of these but that's when I have a lot more money right now it's not worth it walk blessed and don't forget your money is all right so back here's the bank vaults which yes you can rob them I don't think I'm skilled enough to do that yet This is a bunch of these. One of them's mine. Some of these are locked. There's also guard patrolling. We just heard him yawn. There's an expert right there. Do I have any uh, unlock spells? I have up to adept. So if we find an adept one, I could totally 